Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons with Troy. Well, today I've got my Asher 8-string, and it's tuned to A6 tuning. And we're going to be going over these diagrams that I made. Um, I'm calling them easy movable chord positions. Keep in mind, easy is, is relative. Kind of why I say easy is because a lot of these just have straight bar, right? You're not doing a lot of crazy slants. Maybe some with the minors. But um, let's jump on into this, and I'll show you kind of what all these diagrams are about, because I know it looks probably pretty confusing. First off, let's go over this tuning, right? A6 tuning and these diagrams. Okay, so we've got three necks. Um, the tuning is from your thickest string, your lowest string, and F sharp, right? And then we got A, C sharp, E, and then it just repeats that. F sharp, A, C sharp, E. So F sharp, A, C sharp, E, and then F sharp, A, C sharp, E. So if you've got a lap steel tuned to C6 tuning, let's say even a six string, C, E, G, A, C, E, all you've got to do is you've got to uh, tighten your C strings up to a C sharp, right? And then lower your G string down to an F sharp. And it's as simple as that to putting a... a lap steel in C6 with that high E into A6 tuning. So I'm sure you're all wondering, well, why A6? Why is A6 tuning important? Well, I really like it because on your top three strings, that's your root third fifth. So you've got the, you've got that fifth of the chord um, on top, right? Um, and the other thing is, is it's kind of like a dobro, right? GBD, GBD tuning, root third, fifth, root third, fifth, except you have a sixth in that tuning. So it's sixth of the chord, right? Sixth of the chord, then root third, fifth, sixth, root third, fifth. And you can see that here. Now, the way that these diagrams work uh, is I put it in the key of E. Now, keys don't really matter once you start thinking of things in numbers, right? So I've written the chord tones out in numbers, right? And you can see here that E6 chord, that's going to be on our seventh fret. You might say, well, why did you put it in the key of E? Why wouldn't you have just put it in the key of A? Well, E works real nice because it's on your seventh fret. It looks good on camera. It's easy to teach because it's... Uh, you know, right in the middle of your fingerboard. The other thing is, is you play a lot in the key of E. Right? And uh, so let's go ahead and jump on into this first neck. So like I said, the, um, sixth root third fifth, sixth root third fifth. Those are your chord tones that make up this tuning um, in your, your home bass, let's say. So this seventh fret in the key of E, Although we are in A6 tuning, in the key of E, our home bass is going to be on our 7th fret, right? Um, or 7 plus 12 is 19, I believe. So we'd be up here if you wanted to move it up an octave. Okay, so like I said, the difference between this tuning and your C6 tuning, C6 tuning normally is just the root and the third are on the top two strings. That's okay, but you don't get things like, right? Things like that, where you can, you can do those parallel thirds like that, which is real great for country uh, and Western. Um, and having that, also having that third and the fifth on top you can easily do forward slants doing the parallel third so say you wanted to keep that going right you can do forward slants there let me show you that real quick because that's pretty important that's actually not on the diagram but if you take this position here and you play your top two strings right if you do a forward slant on fret eight and fret nine that actually give you your four chord in that position. Move that up two frets, and that gives you your five chord. So that's kind of a neat little little thing to do. It's just like on dobro, right? Root third fifth on top. But unlike dobro, we've got that sixth in there, which gives us all kinds of cool possibilities. So the, the other thing I wanted to talk about is a lot of people 
say, well, why use a you know seven string, eight string instead of a six string? Well, I I really think because of this tuning, it makes it really apparent when we look at this this tuning. It puts the root of our home base position on our seventh string. So at least having a seven string, you know, gives you that that low root note. Whereas if you're just playing a six string, your lowest note is going to be a C sharp, the major third of our chord. Nothing wrong with that, but it's nice to have that low root in the even. Once you have an eight string, then then it's just four strings that are the same, just an octave apart. Sixth, root third, fifth, sixth, root third, fifth. F sharp, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, A, C sharp, E. And that makes a lot of sense when you start learning patterns and stuff. You learn one pattern in this octave, you learn the same pattern in the lower octave. Oh yeah. So this neck here, um, these are gonna be the same things that I'm showing it's just uh, ones for the one chord in the key of E. Our one chord is an E chord. And then the four chord is an A chord in the key of E. And then our five chord is a B chord in the key of E. So um, another neat thing in this tuning is when you've got this home base position, seventh fret, when you move up three frets, right, a minor third, and you play strings four, three, and two, look at that, root, flat third, fifth, that gives you, in red here, that gives you a straight E minor triad. So if we have an E major triad here on our top three strings, when we move down to strings uh, four, three, and two, that's gonna give us a straight E minor triad. Root, flat third, fifth, right? And then in green, I went ahead and showed you, um, you can make that a minor seventh chord by adding that top string. And notice how the pattern's just the same on your lower four strings. It's just an octave down, right? But you've got that flat seven up here on our first string. So let's E major, E minor. Add that top string, we get a nice E minor seventh chord. Okay, let's just keep going here. On the 12th fret, this is a really nice one in this tuning too, because you get things like uh, this this sixth chord. We have our root and our sixth here, and that's real good for tunes like uh, uh, Panhandle Rag. Right, that that little uh, beginning lick where you hit root sixth. And then you come down to your home base and do fifth to root.